Hi, I'm Maisel Minks, and we're gonna play New Vegas. It's day 10. Day 10. Yes. I wonder where this is. This opening scene? You're funny looking. Is that? Oh Hi. my gosh, and that's right, we were so in the long. boomers. Are you land. okay? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Maybe like a special? Oh, this actually looks, it's actually pretty nice in here. I think we've, have we been in here before? How Just is your visit with us going, stranger? Um, you're still trying to figure out who to help and how. Let's ask Each of the elders wanna... would appreciate assistance with various issues here in Nellis. Seek out Jack, Loyal, Raquel, and Argyle. They will guide you. Oh, Argyle is such a cool name. Bye. Mm, bye. <laughs> oh, I was watching someone play a game the other day. Okay, let me look at the local map here. Oh, I can't hit L to do that. Of Pearl's Barracks. Also Pearl. Oh, okay, just doors. Schoolhouse. Women's. Uh, men's. Oh, they don't show you doors that you, like, haven't found yet, I guess? Let's go in this big warehouse. I think we're gonna find the uh, airplane in there. Gosh. It feels like such a long time since I've been here before. Oh, New Vegas, I missed you. Has it really only been since Wednesday? Damn, I should have streamed on Friday. I should have, I thought about it. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. Um, okay. Loyal. Yeah, I like the names of all these people. Especially Argyle. I like those names that are something, like, typically not a name. I know that's such a Gwyneth Paltrow thing <laughs> to say out loud, but, like, Argyle? That's so cool. What the heck? Um, I'm looking for ways to make myself useful. Raquel said you were look, uh, working on some kind of weapon to fight the giant ants. Oh, sick. Let's talk about that. I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. Oh, and I have enough science to help them out with that. Any signal over 22,000 hertz at 150 or more decibels should do the trick. Uh, or I could do speech. Think of it as a field test, a trial run. Let's do the science thing. Let's Hot damn, you're right. Helpful. It's a matter of boosting across those thresholds, not exact amplitude. You're smarter than you look. Ah, Just so you. happens I was testing it at 24,000 hertz, lot. so it should be good to go. Place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's okay. too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. Uh-oh. Is that true? Will I actually throw up? Optional place... Evening. Why do I? Why does what he still have a What is it, outsider? Can I like ask you about your past or anything? If Maybe. that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Okay, so he has nothing two too tasks complicated for us. about it, but it's a long ways to walk my two old bones. Two tasks for us. And there's been that ant problem saying? over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. I passed through a place called Helios 1. Maybe I could find parts there. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. Occasionally? If they've got think... the parts, bring them on back. They all we died. need to get the array back up and charging. Okay, let's talk about something else. All right. What's on your mind? Oh, I guess nothing's Bye. on my mind. Okay, you're just a regular, regular Hello. boomer. Hey. Hello. Oh, boomer chef. Hungry for grub? Oh. <laughs> no, thank you. Bye. I thought that, I don't know, he was a special person. Okay. Hey. All right, then. Nope, just some chefs. I feel like I'm going to miss somebody here. You look unique, but that's just because you have a flamboyant outfit. Hey. You're not actually a... I think Whatever all of these people selling, are not hey, actually we important. Can we go to sleep in these? Ooh. I don't know if I want to do that or not. That could be scary. That could be scary. We could have bad dreams. Because I know in... I don't know if it's this hey. fallout or another one where you like 
go into one of those simulators and there's like maybe an evil presence there or something. Hello. Um, okay, Jack, boring name, but what do you do around here? Me? I work with Loyal. Mostly electronics work in robotics. Keeping the old technologies alive, right? Okay, what can you tell me about Loyal? Loyal's a great man, but he's getting on in years. So a younger's got to learn everything he knows. That'd be me. The man knows how to fix and build just about everything that was ever made. It's not easy keeping up with him. If you help him recover the lady, I figure... Oh, what? I figure it's been a nice day. Yeah, a real nice day. What? What are you talking about? Recover a lady? Did I say that? Yeah, you Sometimes did, I just say that. stupid things. Sorry about that. Pearl will tell you when the time comes. If... I mean... I should really be going. Wow, he's kind of, uh... Not the sh hey sharpest bulb in Back the drawer. For more? I'm looking to help what out. What I could what use is need? some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, <laughs> well... Uh, forget it. No, don't forget it. A personal matter? Hmm, handsome guy like you? I bet there's a girl involved. I don't even want to say that to him. I don't even want to say that to him. I feel like every time I've used the Black Widow thing, I thought it would be like fun and get more dialogue options. It's like more trouble than it's worth. Okay, let's, let's do the Black I'm Widow handsome? thing. Wow, I wonder if she does too. So, tell me about this girl that caught your interest. There's an outpost near this here. Lover. The signs say, Crimson Caravan. What? It seems like they carry things to and fro for people out there. Well, every once in a while, You're I watch the outpost girl, through one you? of the spotter's binoculars. And sometimes there's this girl there. This special girl. And sometimes it's like she's watching me back with her binoculars. What? Except she's probably just watching Nellis. I haven't tried waving. Wow, that's so weird. Why don't you just try waving? Uh, maybe I could talk to her for you. What does she look like? Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair, and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. It's not... You'd really oh, talk no. to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Shoot your shot, uh, man. I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. Oh, boy. <laughs> what a big, dumb lug. <laughs> I'll look into it. Stranger things have happened. That would be amazing. As in, we I get would to play matchmaker. Forever. Can you imagine? Oh my. <laughs> Hello. Love in the wasteland is what I was going to say. What is it, outsider? Take a drink every time I say that, okay? Goodbye. Goodbye. I guess I don't need to talk to you. He has those old man Whatever ears. you're selling, we have plenty. You got those food. Is there anything over here to explore? Should I like... Oh, no, I can't go in there. It's just bits and pieces of a plane. Mm, anything over here? Are there doors over here that I just can't see? Because I'm blind to doors. I'm door blind. Mm, doesn't seem like it. Okay, there's a lot. Okay, what was I doing for him? Let me just look at the quests. Do I have to get quests from any other person, or can I just... Oh, whoop. Find Jack's love interest. Let's do it! Crimson Caravan. Boomers. There they were. Um. OMG, Minx. Well, that's the first clip of the night. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Uh, he's got a quin. You should go talk to Blake <laughs> or Alice. They handle most of our contact uh, with visitors. Oh, wow. She is so cute. She looks like uh, Anya Taylor-Joy. Anya Joy Taylor. Janet. Okay, this is kind of a boring name, but uh, whatever. This other guy, he has a boring name, too. So maybe it's a match made in heaven. I don't suppose you watch the boomers over in Nellis sometimes, do you? Do you, Janet? I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Damn it. Who wants Janet. to know? And I why? Love you. Uh, I've been inside Nellis. There's a young man there who has a crush on you. Nice looking blonde boy? 
I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? Really, they can see each other from there? Okay. I can Black Widow her ass. He's a catch. You should see him blush when I flirt with him? Oh, maybe we won't say that. I don't know. He's nice. Maybe a little naive. Seems convinced you're the love of his life. God, both of these suck. I don't want to say this just in case I accidentally, I don't know, fuck, fuck for shit. But we're going to say, okay, maybe a little naive. Really? I, don't, I just don't want to scare oh, her off. That's so you know? sweet. I'd love to go uh, meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? I'll ask Pearl to make an exception for you. Speech 55. Oh, lie. They know you're coming. Ooh. This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. Gosh. What if he sucks? What if you're... What if you're too good for him, girl? Pearl! How is your visit with My us going, stranger? Mojave grandmother. Okay, Jack is interested in a girl. Can you can you get on board with this here, Pearl? Uh, or I'm looking for okay, we're not we're not jumping into well, that. I well, always read those. This is welcome news. I know Who what is they she? say. We're not we're not doing that. Uh, she works for the Crimson Caravan. She's just some kooky dame looking for love. Okay, we're gonna say that she's a She's with character. those traitors? They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. Okay, you don't have this to This presents with her. a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. Whoa. That's rude. Um I guess I didn't realize that they're not allowed to leave at all. I thought it would be more of like an orc situation where if they leave, they're kind of shunned. They have to make a choice. But okay. Uh, he might blow up or something if he leaves. Speech. Uh, it would mean a lot to Jack if she could come to Nellis. I assure you, Janet would not be a threat to the... Let's just say this. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. Oh gosh. I'm scared. Uh, completed. Ask Pearl for permission. And tell Jack Janet is interested in him. Yeah, now I can't stop thinking about that Rocky Horror song. Uh, you tell me. What do people have to say about... Oh, we don't need to ask her about that yet. Later. Wow, I was not expecting her to say later. Later. That wasn't a good grandma voice. Later. I don't know. <laughs> I love the voices. There's someone, um... There's that lady from... Nipton? Oh, I think I'm saying the wrong name, but she makes the rad scorpion pie for you. Her, like, goodbye is so sad, and I just love it. I I can't help but, like, uh, try and mimic it every time I hear it. But it's, like, the saddest have, goodbye. Have you seen her? Um, okay. Good news. She feels the same way, Jack. Uh, yeah. She does? You mean I it? can tell her that. That's incredible. For him. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? Um, I spoke to Pearl, but Janet needs a way past the here, artillery. take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. Okay. Gosh, this seems extremely risky. Uh, oh, okay. Oops, I thought I had to go in that locker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ignore that. Ignore that. Okay, yeah, I just, um... I mean, I guess I trust this to work out. But, wow, this is great lighting. Wow, Cass. You look great. You look great, doll. Let's go back to the Crimson Caravan. Do I want to fast travel? Yes. And <laughs> we'll enter the doors. <laughs> I, is there anything? Does I don't know why I have to walk through the doors. I'm I'm just I'm just being frivolous right now, complaining about nothing. But 
I don't think there's anything to do with the Crimson Caravan outside of these walls. So Hello again. How's really your boomer friend? We have to uh, fast travel outside the gate. Uh, whatever. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about him again. He's doing well. I'll come back when I... Okay. I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety? Uh, I got the boomer uniform. Okay, I have a boomer uniform for you to wear while you cross to Nellis. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Do I really just do this? I feel like she's gonna get. There's one off. more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing okay. for me and talk to Alice Maybe McLafferty could, like, about it? I don't know. Okay, um, we'll talk to Alice. Speak to Alice McLafferty on behalf of Janet. Damn it, Janet! I think we can speech our way out of this. Welcome back. Okay, speech 75. Woohoo! Are you really gonna ruin what's supposed to be a time of happiness for her? Well, Jesus Christ, it's not like they're getting... Okay, I get I'm persuading her, but it's not like they're getting married. They don't know each other. Being sentimental is not how I made the Crimson Caravan so successful. But I'll allow it, just this once. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. Cutting asses again. Better lay low. Zoom. She's perfect for Jack. Okay, actually, that adds up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Janet. I've convinced Alice to pay what you're owed. You're free to leave. That's great. I can't believe you went through all this trouble for Gosh, me. I'm so worried. Thank you. Okay, she looks dope. I wish I could wear something as cool as that. Evening. Good God, I really hope I shouldn't get blown up. Meet, uh, wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I completed hel helping the boomers already? Uh, meet Janet back at Nellis. Okay, let's just, uh, I keep wanting to call it Apparate. Good God, I'm not even a Harry Potter, like, person like that. Okay. I've never been so happy in my entire life. Loyal said you can help me breathe underwater. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic also, seal really for the rebreather. I'm really surprised that you sat through that red. Science. Corn silk, rubber hose, and removable adhesive would make a good hermetic seal. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're go. not doing that. A new <laughs> rebreather. Rebreather added. Nice. Later. To hold my breath. I've heard the Legion's planning to unleash their best men against us. Uh, Alright. Okay. I don't know if I want to go to Lake Mead right now. I haven't really been over there. Um, I think we could maybe go back to Helios 1 for this. Let's try it. I think it would be cool to help We're, we're helping a boomer. I don't know what I'm saying. I was about to say, it would be great to help the boomers, but we're doing that anyway, so. Um, the other thing that I wanted to do was go find that Bonnie and Clyde duo who stole the the weapons, and I think maybe they stole, like, the costumes, too, from the Vision Dance Casino. I don't know where they're located, though. I'm going to have to look it up. Oh, whoops, am I going the wrong way? It's probable. Was I already here before? No, this is a new hallway. <sighs> Mr. Fantastic, you down here? Oh Yo. my god, that was... That made me so mad when we met that science Adios, guy at amigo. Camp uh, McCarran. And <laughs> the guy there was like, there's someone out there, Mr. Wonderful. He did such a good job. And I was like, it was actually me. And then he was like, really? Hmm. I wonder... I don't know. I wonder if you had different stats if you would, um... If you would say something different. Oh! Broken solar panel. Uh, repair 20 or higher. I think I... Salvage the array. Array salvage. Ooh! Ooh! It disappeared. Nice. Yeah, we are, we're really like, our stats are starting to get in a place where it's just easy to do things. I can go through the wasteland and just 
do so many things. I don't have to be like, oh man, this is blocked off to me. I have to eat a magazine to be better at something. Nay, nay, I can just walk up to a saddle array and, er, a solar array and fix it. Salvage. I wonder if they get harder or something. I should be paying attention to the number every time. Yeah, just in case. Because I think sometimes on those options, if you don't have a high enough skill, you can still try and repair it and then something bad will happen maybe. Uh, salvage the array. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, nothing in there. Where else do I need to go? Oh, broken solar reflector. Okay, that's... That's a little bit further away. I thought they were all going to be here. Plant actually <laughs> Zoom. Working again. We're all getting Helios turned around. I don't even know what you would be getting turned at with Helios. Oh, well, Mr. Fantastic has a fridge full of uh, booze. And I totally forgot about that. His fridge is like full of um, booze and stuff that I didn't take because it was going to weigh me down. But, eh. Let's see, what is this up here? Okay, so not that far from Nellis Hanger? The Nellis Hanger? Okay, maybe we could walk out there. Uh, are we gonna meet a death claw? Oh! Nellis Array discovered. Oh, we're here! Oh my gosh, that was a, that was nothing but a hop, skip, and a jump away from the boomer camp. Okay. Gate open. Array control interface. Uh, generator power source is unavailable. Check all cords and plugs for connection. Okay, that's fine. We will check all cords and plugs in a minute. Repair the broken solar array panels. Um, reflector panels on this array are damaged. Solid parts could be used to repair the array. Would you like to repair the array? Repair 65 or higher required to use solar array parts. We'll use the salvage parts. Using your knowledge of photovolic cells, you thoroughly clean, polish, and upgrade the solar panels. You also clean and rewire some degraded circle circuits you spot. Array efficiency improved by 50%. Okay, I mean, it looks fine. <laughs> Array efficiency improved by 50%. Is that good enough? I don't know. Salvage parts. 50%. Spare parts. 50%. And let's get this guy. Repair. And the last one, I think. Nice. Okay. And each one of those, we got a nice little 61 spots of experience all of the broken so solar arrays are repaired nice tell loyal the array has been repaired okay <laughs> so now we level up okay let's just do i don't know maybe we boost this to like 55 i feel like our speech is getting a little bit overpowered right now so i think i might do add some points to sneak and guns done don't want none unless you got guns. Let's go. It's going to be um, a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. Uh, let's tell him that we repaired the solar arrays. An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Nice. 360 SP. Sunshine Boogie. Quest completed. Uh, where is the bomber located? Yeah, yeah, I know he told me. Okay, let's... Bye! We'll I'll just talk to him later. Idolized! Renowned for your extensive support and goodwill, you are idolized by the community. Let's see. Janet? Oh, I've God, she looks... That, that was the bad best side profile. Wait, I want, to, I want to look at her side profile again. Don't, don't look at me. Okay, I what? I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it's like almost right. There's something that just surprised me about that. Gosh, I love the player design in this game. 
They're so lovable, all of them. <sighs> the one thing that I... One thing, the many things that I like about this game, is that it seems like the kids all have different faces. In Fallout, or not Fallout, in Skyrim it kind of creeps me out. That all the kids have the same face. Should we try and go find Bonnie and Clyde? I feel like maybe we could do... Hmm. Okay, we already did that. Mr. Cuddles? What the hell? Lindsay, one of the boomer kids. Oh no, lost her teddy bear. In the main hangar? Oh, maybe we should try and find her teddy bear? In the main hangar. How do I know which one is the main hangar, though? Hangar. Mess hall. Maybe... Maybe it's in here? Playing in the hangar? Okay, I'll try. Let's turn our light on. So that we can see. Mr. Cuddles. If I was a kid, where would I hide and seek? Probably like in the plane somewhere. Oh, could you? That would be so fun. <laughs> that would be, can I jump in here please? No, okay. <laughs> Forget it. Forget I said anything. Um, maybe like around these boxes or something? I feel like a kid would hide in one of these. Teddy bear? Hello? What if I... Can I see more if I do this? Not really. What about down in... Ah! I don't want to get stuck. Oh, good god. McLafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. What? What did she say? McLafferty's been riding asses? Oh, I there he is! Mr. Cuddles! The super fortress built in my lifetime. We did it! Okay, let's give this little girl her thing. All right, friend, before I send you to the next video in this series, I wanted to say thank you for hanging out with me today. If you haven't yet, subscribe or check out some of my other socials. I'm on Twitch, Discord, Twitter, and I'd love to see you there too. Until next time.